Microbiologists basically study things that you cannot see with your, with your eyes. You will need a microscope or you will need other technologies that will allow you to see what's happening at the microscopic level. So we study bacteria, we study viruses, fungus, um, and things like that. NASA studies microorganisms because um, they're part of life. Um, and microorganisms can be very good for people and can be really bad for people. And understanding the difference and having a balance is very important when you have um, a group of people uh, living inside basically a can, which is what they're doing in space station or, or in a spacecraft. Um, if you cannot control the, the ones that are not good and if you cannot balance the ones that are good, the crew is going to um, potentially get sick. Um, hardware can get damaged, microorganisms can actually damage materials. So the fact that uh, we have an ecosystem of people in a close en loop, in a close environment, um, also means that we have an ecosystem of microorganisms um, sort of living there with the people. And it's very important that, that we keep that balance, otherwise we can have really terrible consequences. The greatest challenge to, of controlling microorganisms in the International Space Station or any spacecraft, any enclosed environment, you know, if we go to the moon, if we go to Mars, in any of those places is, um, the greatest challenge will be basically making sure that the balance is achieved. Uh, we cannot sterilize the equipment that we send there for the most part, and definitely we cannot sterilize people. So we know that microbes are there and will be there all the time. And even microorganisms that might not be um, harmful on the ground can become harmful uh, in, in, an, in, in an environment where perhaps people start, immune system starts to get a little bit degenerated due to microgravity conditions or being away from Earth. So the greatest challenge is that balance where how do you decide that water is okay to drink and will not make somebody sick? How do you decide the air is clean enough for people? How do you decide all those requirements? Um, you know, how do you decide that five bacteria are okay, but 10 are not? That is the challenge of, of, of studying microbiology in a spacecraft.